Today's video is sponsored by our amazing friends at Squarespace, the easy and reliable way to build a website for yourself and your business. Use our code OfficialDuckStudios for 10% off your first Squarespace order. Guys, look, I got nuclear radiation. Hot damn. Why are you here? Did you know you can buy this on Amazon? Um, we're gonna we're gonna go buy a microwave and I'm gonna put this inside of it. <laughs> we're either gonna get superpowers or a tumor. Hold it. <laughs> That's right, they sell nuclear material on Amazon. Who knew? So I got the great idea of trying to microwave it. You know, cause that's probably smart. So we went to our local Home Depot. Home Depot. Time to get a microwave, quality microwave, that's gonna be destroyed very soon. Well, actually, so probably not. Get a quality one. Well, we wanna make sure that it does a good job. And found us a beauty of a microwave. $44 for a microwave, Ooh. Do you think the magic is gonna interact with the science? No, I hate you. Uh, no, 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 no. Then we headed home to begin our incredibly stupid experiment. But you know what isn't incredibly stupid? Uh, our brand new limited edition embroidered disappointment sweaters and hoodies. They're embroidered, so that means you can literally feel the disappointment. I've been working hard on these for months, and I'm super excited to finally release them. Mostly because now I can finally make a little bit of money, you know, it's just... They come in both hoodies and and crew neck sweaters with three different colors to choose from. This is the highest quality merch we've ever made and is gonna keep your dumbass warm as fuck through the winter. They also make a great gift for the holiday season to show someone you love or hate how much of a disappointment they are to you. So don't miss out on these because they're only available for two weeks and then they're gone. That's how limited edition works, you know, if you didn't know that. Buying the merch is really the best way to support this dying channel and I love every single one of you that buys one. I also love the ones that don't, just, you know, not nearly as much. Anyways, enough of this, let's get back to the video. We had just gotten our amazing microwave and now it's time to set it all up. Microwave. Can I drop it? Uh, I need a... Utensil. What Beer. Is... Okay. <laughs> now all there is to do is carefully unbox this beauty. It's already dented, like severely dented. Okay, that wasn't that careful. Okay. I say we take it out to a field, take an extension cord, and huh? stick the nukes in it. Why didn't you make like a little mini nuke like container that could fall out? That would have been really neat. That could have added flavor to the video, and you could clickbait thumbnail it. Do you think I put that much effort into anything I do, ever? Nope, I put the least amount of effort into everything I can do. Now I just need to run a long ass extension cord to get the microwave as far away as possible. For, for no particular reason. Well, I'm trying to get it off our property line, but there's only like a 5% chance it's gonna burst into flames. We have to strategically place this. I surveyed this area. I know that there is a water line that runs right through here and as well as a uh, gas line. So this is probably the optimal spot. First, let's we'll see if it even works, you know? Hmm. Oh, now it's going. Oh, it can't be, it has pressure plates. Oh. It's gotta be sitting on something solid. Oh, now it's not working, period. Now it works. All right. Put the nuke in. I wonder if I get off, it'll work. All right. That's We're a good making progress. <laughs> so then we just like really quickly. All right, it works sometimes. Okay, maybe this microwave isn't much of a beauty after all. But you know, we got it to work using the power of my fat ass. Speaking of my fat ass, it's time to protect it. Luckily, I ordered some quality hazmat suits on Amazon. This will definitely protect us from any levels of radiation that we're gonna experience during this experiment. I got hazmat suits. Um, I only got two. Those don't look lead lined. They're prop suits technically, but I figured they would work the same. Because <laughs> radiation though technically. So I say we get dressed in these. We come back out, we take the nuclear material, and um, we back. do each other in the ass. Yep. Yep. We'll be in the changing room, Joey. This is a big changing room. Bye. Have fun. I love you too. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. I'm ready as I'll ever be. You just hit me. Uh, Joey, I got you something so you don't have to be anywhere near it. It's a giant lens. It was only $100, so it probably doesn't work very good. You'll probably have to lay prone on the ground, you know, to be able to stabilize. Time for the main event! Do you have to shout you have a microphone? I'm gonna shout just in case the microphone doesn't reach. Uh, do I have to shout as well? Yeah, you're gonna have to yell really loud because you don't have a mic. <laughs> 
Right here, we have uranium ore. You can buy this on Amazon, do you know that? That's crazy. This is 558 CPM, that's cost per million. That's a lot. I thought it was child magazines. Uh, no, did you just yell that in my neighborhood? <laughs> we are going to insert this into the microwave. Wait, do you have the Geiger counter? Oh yeah, we should probably test it. Yeah. Make sure it's radioactive. That's right, I even bought a Geiger counter for this experiment. Granted, it's the cheapest Geiger counter I could find, but it's still $90. That's like 85% of my bank account. I'm not lying to you. Geiger counter. <laughs> what are you doing? No! No! Gotta open it up. No, I'm... Done. We're gonna see how many geigs are in this. We're gonna start with a control. This washer, see how many geigs it's got. Seven geigs. Seven oh wait, yeah, it's still seven. Eight geigs. Not bad. All right, now let's bring it over. We're going to open up the baggie. It's oh, supposed to be 558 CPMs. We're gonna see if we got ripped off or not. Come on, guy, get up. Oh shit. 25, 26. There's definitely more going on with this than anything else. But not 558. No, not quite. Okay, we, we might have got ripped off. But you know what? The experiment must go on. Maybe the Geiger counters just broke. Who knows? All I know is I'm gonna be leaving a bad Amazon review because this is bullshit. We are opening up the lead-lined container. Here it is, Tyler. Right there is the uranium ore. Look at that. That's what killed Chernobyl. Oh, we're opening it up. This is gonna tam contaminate all of Texas. <laughs> Plop it in. Oh, there it goes. Are you ready? Yes. Sealing the unit. Wait. Sealing the unit. Three, two, one. How long should I microwave it? There's, but it's not popcorn. Okay, popcorn. Can you dub in an explosion? Nothing's happening. Do I have brain cancer yet? Do we put other shit in it now? Oh shit. It's making a sound. Can you hear that? Oh, it's buzzing louder than normal. Uh, hey, it doesn't do anything. That sure was exciting, but you know what? Now we know. That's what we do in this channel. We get to the bottom of things that nobody wants to get to the bottom of. Probably because it's boring. But now we have a much bigger problem on our hands. How do we dispose of this now? What? How do we dispose of this? It's not illegal, Tyler. It's, um, like 97 it's not illegal. It's just nuclear waste dumping. Improper disposal of chemical agents. Uh, Looks deep enough. Radioactivation. Oh boy. Make sure the dogs don't come out here, Steve. Saving the environment. That concludes this video. Uh, it doesn't do anything. You know, that doesn't conclude this video. Cause I had a great idea. What if we put gasoline in it? We're gonna put gasoline in a microwave and see what happens. We're also gonna put metal inside of it because we're stupid. Who's gonna press the button when you're not gonna hold the camera? I guess that leaves me to press the button, doesn't it? All right. Can I use the BB gun to push the start button? Uh, I'm gonna put shrapnel in it. You think these will spark? These screws? Um, if I die, uh, you can have all my debt. Should I use this for a quick escape? No. <laughs> How long should I microwave it? Popcorn. <laughs> I'm slightly worried. I'm gonna run that way so the door doesn't blow open. What if it never goes off? I don't think popcorn was the right setting, Tyler. Okay, turns out it's way more difficult to blow up a microwave than I thought, but we're not gonna give up there. No, with the power of tin foil, this microwave will blow up. Uh if, uh, if I die, yeah, you know the thing, you know, yeah. I'm gonna leave the shrapnel in there, you know. Oh God, fuck me. Popcorn, going live. It's not doing anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's done. <laughs> Popcorn's done. All right, so tinfoil doesn't spark. Okay, tinfoil doesn't work. Maybe more tinfoil. That might work. Let me just stick that giant ball of it in there. Tell you, want to do the honor? Uh, no, I'm good. You got your, your You sure? You this could be the one. I don't want you to miss out on it. Popcorn? Yep, popcorn. Popcorn. Not doing anything again. We gotta blow it up somehow. We've tried something flammable. How about something flammable and pressurized? I got a bad idea. I mean, a good idea. Can of spray paint. Just building pressure. <laughs> All right. Um, 
<laughs> okay, it's impossible. Blowing up a microwave is the most difficult thing you could ever do. You know what else is very difficult? Building your own website. Unless you use Squarespace, our amazing sponsor for this video. We wanted to highlight our favorite features that make Squarespace the best online platform to create your own website. The first is their award-winning templates. With so many professional templates to choose from, building a website without any prior experience is simple and quick, so you can focus on driving traffic to your website. And speaking of traffic, our second favorite feature is the built-in search engine optimization tools. Normally, search engine optimization is incredibly tough, but their built-in SEO features makes it simple and painless. To get started with your own business or side hustle, go to squarespace.com forward slash official duck studios for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. And a big thanks to Squarespace for supporting the channel. Look at this bomb ass merch though. This, this hairy ass covered in Randall hair merch, embroidered design, limited edition, only available for two weeks. Go cop it now. Look at this. Embroidered. It's, it's like you can feel it. You can feel the disappointment. You've never been able to feel the disappointment before.